Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a new program by Shermerx called Xboot. And what Xboot does is it allows you to have all of your favorite bootable diagnostics tools in one place by creating a multi-bootable USB or DVD. Xboot is a Windows based program. However, you can still add Linux based programs and operating systems by using an emulator called grub for dos With Xboot, you can add multiple Linux based distros, multiple diagnostic tools, and multi antiviruses both for Linux and Windows and have them all in one place. Xboot doesn't install on your computer either. When you download it, it places an icon on the desktop, and when you're finished using it, all you have to do is delete the icon off the desktop and Xboot's off your system. I learned of Xboot from a YouTube channel called Brytech09. Brytech has 379 videos at this time covering a large assortment of topics such as virus and malware removal, diagnostic tools, and some really good tips and tricks. I visit this channel quite often. They release new videos frequently and it's a really good channel and worth checking out if you've never been there. So I'm going to go to the Xboot website and under the download link you have a couple of options. You can either download Xboot off the official site or you can download a mirror from a different site. Once you've downloaded Xboot you need to go out and find some live CDs, rescue CDs, or ISO images. I usually start at a website called the Live CD List and as you can see they have a very long list of different tools that you can use to add to your bootable diagnostics USB or DVD. They have everything in here from Linux distros to different diagnostic tools to antiviruses for both Linux and Windows and they also have forensic tools in here where you could create your own forensic USB if you wanted to. Once you've downloaded all the images you want to include in your diagnostic USB or DVD you open Xboot and I like to keep the ISO images close to the Xboot interface because it's just easier to drag and drop them that way and that's all you have to do. You simply drag and drop the ISO into the Xboot interface and there it is right there. I'm going to add a few more so I can show you how Xboot works here. I'm going to put in AVG, RPE. When you get an ISO that doesn't want to drop into the interface you'll get this window here. If you click on the drop down box right at the top, add using grub for dos ISO image emulation. You click on that, add this file, and BART-P is now in the interface. I'm going to add Bitdefender, Derek's Boot and Nuke, Hiren's Boot CD, once again with the emulator. I'm going to add Linux Mint. Partition Wizard and also Ultimate Boot CD. As you can see here, the total size that I'm using right now is 2.66 gigabytes. I'm using a 4 gig USB right now, so I could actually add a lot more to this if I wanted to. And of course, the larger the USB, the more software you can put into it. Once I get all the ISOs into the interface that I want to use, I'll go through and I'll categorize them. As you can see, like AVG here is categorized under antivirus. So I'm going to categorize BART PE under bootable. And I'm going to do the same with Hiren's Boot CD. Linux Mint, I'm going to categorize under Linux. Partition Wizard, I'm going to categorize under utility. And Ultimate Boot CD, I'm going to categorize under bootable. When Xboot is creating the multi-bootable USB or DVD, it also creates a help option. As you can see here, if the images are listed under help text, they will be included in the help options. There are a few images listed in the help text column here, and these will have help topics within the help options. And once you've finished categorizing your ISOs, you just have to come down here and click on Create ISO or Create USB. I'm going to click on Create USB. When the select a USB drive window opens, you have to select the USB that you're going to use for your diagnostics. And I always leave SysLinux as my bootloader. It's the recommended option, so I just leave it and click OK. And as you can see, Xboot is now creating my bootable diagnostics USB. And here I have the option of testing my new image in a virtual environment with an emulator that Xboot provides called KMU. 
Instead of loading the image into KMU, I'm going to show you how the USB would load if you were to restart the computer. And I'm going to use VirtualBox. Xboot's loaded into VirtualBox, and as you can see, here's the menu with all the different categories, including the help. See if I open Utility, there's the Cronus Media, Derek's Boot, Nuke, and Partition Wizard. If I open the Antivirus, there's my AVG and Bit Defender. And under Bootable, I have BART PE, Hyrens, Boot CD, and Ultimate Boot CD. And then under Linux, I have Linux Mint. Now I'm going to go into the Bootable category and show you Hyrens Boot CD real quick. And there's Hyrens Boot CD, and as you can see, they have many of options here for diagnostics everything from different DOS programs to Windows memory diagnostics to Conboot. It also has the Fix NT LDR is missing, which I've used a couple times now. And it even has Derek's Boot Nook. And as you can see, it has a lot of different diagnostic tools that you can use to diagnose a failing computer. So Xboot creates a multi-bootable diagnostics image that can be used to troubleshoot and repair computers. It's a free program that does not require being installed on your computer and it's easy to use. Thank you for watching my video. Any questions feel free to ask. Have a great day everybody.